Even what's going on in Florida, you don't even want us to learn our history. Like, there was a time when enslaved people couldn't learn, and now it's illegal for us to learn about enslaved people. Yeah. That statement that D.L. Hughley just said was profound because it hits at the core of a strategy that's been used since slavery to preserve and propel white supremacy in the United States. In the beginning, the organization's primary focus was to raise a bunch of money and put up as many Confederate monuments and statues as possible. This is why there are so many Confederate statues and monuments in the United States, because the United Daughters of the Confederacy put most of them up. Is that slavery wasn't bad, that slaves were content with being slaves, and that slavery was not the root cause of the Civil War. In 1919, a woman named Mildred Rutherford came through to push this idea forward. It's important to know that Mildred Rutherford was a member of the United Daughters of the Confederacy. She was also a teacher and she was a prominent white supremacist. And she creates this pamphlet called A Measuring Rod to Test Textbooks and Reference Books in Schools, Colleges, and Libraries. The goal of this pamphlet was to create a guideline that schools could use so that they could have a cohesive message being taught throughout school districts across the South. Now these guidelines, this curriculum, was kept intact from the early 1900s all the way up until 1969. And it's believed that 70 million students learned this way. I can tell you it didn't stop in 1969 because I went to school in the South, I graduated in 2002, and I was taught some of these same things. In today's time, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis is using these exact same tactics to whitewash the black experience and essentially erase our history. This is why it's so vital that we take it upon ourselves to document and share the injustices that are committed against black and brown people, or any minority for that matter. This is also why it's important for us to have open dialogues and discussions because if we don't document and communicate, the history is lost. I don't know if you realize this or not, but we are literally living the history that might be hidden from our children in the future. It's important to know that from the beginning of time until there are no more people walking the earth, the winner of the war is the person that held the pen to write about it.